Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll see how to generate barcodes in JavaScript using JS barcode library. This is the official website of the library right here. What we need to do first is download the JS file or use it directly from the CDN. Then we'll have JS barcode function ready to use and generate our barcode. As you can see here, we have two ways to define options, either from the JS method, like this example right here, or from the HTML itself by adding some attributes to the SVG tag, just like this. And here we can see the different types of barcodes supported by this um, library and the different options that can be used or customized uh, in our barcode. Okay, so now we're gonna implement a quick demo of the library by adding an input field and generating the barcode for that field's value. Let's start by creating a simple demo HTML page that has an input text field that carries the barcode value and an SVG tag that will be used to hold the generated barcode by JS barcode library. So I'm gonna type here HTML and then the head tag, the title, which is gonna be barcode generator tutorial, tutorial, yep. Okay, and then we're gonna have the body. I'm just creating the dev just like that, a label, which is gonna be barcode, and then an input field, input name barcode, and type is equal to text. Okay, and I'm gonna create another dev right here that's gonna hold the SVG tag for the barcode with an ID equal to barcode. And we can add a header right here, barcode generator tutorial. Okay, right now we're going to add our library to the HTML file from the CDN. So I'm just gonna go back to the website of the JS barcode library and scroll down to the CDN links. And I'm just gonna copy this link right here and let's go back to our file in the head section right here we're going to create a script tag with source equal to the library right okay so now we've imported the js barcode into our code okay so what we're going to do now is create a function generate barcode that's going to take a value and generate the barcode and um just put it in the SVG that we have created. So I'm gonna add a script tag right here and I'm gonna define a function, generate barcode, that's gonna take a value, right? And then it's gonna call the JS barcode function, giving it the ID of the SVG. So I'm gonna type here hash barcode, which is gonna be our selector since we've added the barcode ID on this SVG right here. And then the second parameter is gonna be the value. And the third parameter is gonna be the options. So I'm just gonna add um, some options for demonstration. So format, I'm gonna set it to code 128. And the display value, I'm just gonna set it to true. Okay, so uh, now we're done with our generate barcode method. Finally, we're gonna add an unchange attribute to the input field to call the generate barcode function that we created with the barcode value. So let's move to the input right here and we're gonna add onChange equal to generate barcode and we're gonna call it giving it the value of the input field so this dot value 
Okay, so we are done. Let's test it now. So I'm going to type here Google dash Chrome barcode generator to turn HTML in order to open the file on the um, Google Chrome. So what I'm going to do here is type barcode. Maybe I'm going to type Basil Tech 123. Just click here and here we go. This is our generated barcode. Okay, so that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.